Being an artist is in a way magical because you get to create on a regular basis. Hi, I'm Andrea Kirk with The Art Chick. In my last video, I demonstrated how to draw a desert landscape. Since that time, I've painted a beautiful sunrise. Today, I'm going to show you how to blend colors for a sagebrush and the surrounding red sand. To paint this landscape, you will need oil paints, paint brushes, a silicoil paint jar, and terpenoid natural to clean your brushes, and also paper towels. On my plate here, I've got greens and only a couple of browns. This one will consist of the sagebrush colors. Right here, I have um, burnt sienna, burnt umber, yellow ochre. Both of these are permanent green light, but they are different brands, and you can see that they're different colors. It's kind of funny. One's a little bit darker than the other, but I like both shades, so I'm going to use both of them. And then this one is Azo Green, this is Viridian, this one is Thalo Turquoise, and then Ivory Black and Titanium White. And of course, I have my liquid here um, just to make the paint slippery. And I like to mix a lot of colors. The more color, the better. So really, I just experiment and I pull several shades together to see what I get. And it's, it's really fun. And you can just kind of judge by looking at your reference photo. In this case, you can just look what I do um, to know how to mix the appropriate colors needed for this particular painting. But um, here we have a really strong green, but I do want one that has a little bit of blue in it. So. I'm going to take this Thalo Turquoise and mix it in with this. Notice how I just swiped that shade that I mixed over here and I added the Thalo Blue or Turquoise. Okay, and it's starting to get more blue. It looks really dark right now, but watch as I swipe it over here and I add a little white. Look what begins to happen. It's really pretty. And sagebrush in the spring, um, if you look at the tips, it has a beautiful blue shade like this on the very tips. And so you wanna be sure to have that. Also with sagebrush, there's a little bit of brown. So I'm gonna take that color that I had mixed, mix it in with yellow ochre. And it's, it's really funny, the colors, the beautiful colors that you get by using the previous colors you mixed. It's actually fascinating, the beautiful, array of colors you come up with. And they all uh, go together. So when you're painting, um, they just blend well together and look really nice together. Okay, also um, in your shadows, you want some burnt umber. Okay, so here's some burnt sienna and burnt umber and that green that we previously mixed. And this will give us a really nice brownish green shade. That's good for shadows. And I want to go a little bit darker, so I'm going to take that same brown, put it over here. I'm going to mix a little bit of black with it. And I'm thinking more of that Thalo turquoise. And I also want, ooh, okay. And that one was Viridian, so. So as you can see, we have Quite a few shades here, but I still feel like we need more. So now that I have this really dark shade and I'm going lighter, I am going to swipe my palette knife. So I'll clean that off. And here's yellow ochre. And if you mix that with white, you get a really nice golden color. And I think that would be pretty to have a little bit of that in the bushes. And let's also do one more shade of green. Um, let's take the Azo Green and the Permanent Green Light. Mix those two together. And I want this to be more of a brown green, so I'm going to take some Burnt Sienna And now we have 
just the right amount of colors to paint our sagebrush. Okay, let's get started. Paint your darkest shade of green along the base of your mountain range just below the horizon line, gently blending into the blue. Underneath that layer, add the second darkest shade, stroking gently. Layer your paint, adding darker and lighter as you go along. This will add depth and texture to your background. Next, take your olive green shade and paint along the bottom while continuing to stack your layers. Notice how I'm not painting straight lines. Make your strokes bumpy, curving up and down to look like layered mounds of sagebrush. Keep in mind though, this is the sagebrush that's back in the distance, and so you want to make it look a little more abstract and far away. By painting the darker shade of green underneath, you will enhance the foliage significantly. Also take that dark green and paint underneath your sagebrush. Layer from dark to light with multiple shades of green. Turn your brush sideways and paint vertical strokes to make the sagebrush look spiky. Use as many shades of green as possible. Highlight the top with the lightest shade of green or light blue. Continue with this process, watching my use of color and texture patterning. It gets easier as you go along. Take a fan brush and smooth out your texture. Just be careful not to overdo it.
Shading darker above and below your sagebrush will make them look more three-dimensional. Blend each layer into the next, and remember, the more color you use, the better. Go crazy with your colors. Watch the difference in colors I use as I continue painting the background to the right. Variation will also enhance the overall look of your entire landscape. Okay, now that we have the sagebrush done, um, I want to show you how to paint the red sand. And in order to do that, we need to mix up some beautiful hues um, that will contrast really well with the green as well as the sunset. So here is my plate of colors that I have provided. And this is titanium white, this is yellow ochre, this is cadmium yellow pale, this is cadmium yellow, this one is cadmium barium orange, naphthol red, alizarin crimson, quinacridone magenta, burnt umber, burnt sienna, ivory black, and again, our liquid to help our paint spread further. So we want bold, beautiful colors. And to do that, I want you to take the cadmium barium orange, and we're going to take some burnt sienna and mix those two together. And that will give us a very rich color. But again, we want several shades just as we did with the sagebrush. The more color you have, the better. Your painting will look so much better. Okay, so I just added some yellow ochre to this. Again, I had my paint on the palette knife. I did not wipe it off. I kept it on there because I, I like to link the colors together. I think that they work beautifully together if they're somewhat combined in a way. Okay, so again, swipe the palette knife here. Let's take the cadmium yellow, mix that in. And notice how it slightly changes with each color that we add. Okay, now let's take the cadmium yellow pill, same thing, that paint is still on my palette knife. Okay, and this one is more like a gold color. Okay, and then we also have to consider our shadows. So I'm going to wipe that off now because we need to go darker. And this time we'll take burnt umber. I'm running out of room. I, I just did. Uh, the sagebrush and the dirt on these plates because I have two other palettes that I use for my sky and my mountains. So this painting really is extensive, but um, again, I, I like to use a lot of colors, so it doesn't matter how many different palettes I have, as long as I have the colors I need, I'm happy. Okay, so as you can see, um, we made a darker shade here. So burnt umber, a little bit of burnt sienna, tiny bit of black, and then um, I probably want 
to do another shade of orange. So I'm gonna swipe this over here and take the cadmium barium orange, more of this cadmium yellow, and let's see what we get with that. And that's exactly the color I was going for. I really like that. Okay. And you can still use the colors that you used um, for your sage brush. There are a few shades in, in there that can also be used with the dirt. So I'm just adding a few more colors on my own. Um, I want you, so that you can get practice, I want you to do the same thing. I want you to just kind of go around and make some of your own colors and just experiment a little bit. That's, that's how I learned to mix colors, is I just you know started mixing all sorts of colors together and it's kind of fun. So just mix a few more and then I'm going to show you how to get started. Okay, so there you have it. There's quite the array of colors. Let's get started. Begin by painting the orange along the base of the sagebrush. Then add the rest shade right up against the base of each bush to make a shadow. Blend the two shades together. Add your yellow ochre mixture underneath your shadow for extra color dimension. Add green along the top of your red sand to tone down the warmer colors a little. Continue with this process painting more sagebrush as you go. Remember that your shadows underneath each sagebrush are crucial. They will make your painting more realistic. Look how beautiful the sky looks with the foreground we painted. To see the entire project painted from start to finish, stay tuned for my next video where I will show you a time lapse of the entire project. I'm super excited. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys enjoyed my project. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.